My name is Peter Christensen and I'm the Food Systems Team Leader at Cultivating Community. In the Food Systems Team, we deliver a whole range of programs. Uh, they can be growing food in a garden setting, uh, it can be community cooking, so we do a community lunch program, we do after school cooking with kids. We've also got a kitchen equipment library on the Carlton Estate where people can borrow kitchen equipment um, rather than having to buy. Uh, we have a couple of food swaps. Uh, the idea is that you can bring along any extra produce that you have in your garden and swap it with someone else for extra produce from their garden. Uh, and we also uh, support uh, a number of uh, food relief markets um, in our communities. Hi, um, my name's Cassandra. Um, I work for Cultivating Community uh, and we have a program called our High Rise um, Community Bakery. I'm here facilitating our workshops, um, our baking um, and our volunteers that come in and help um, create dough and bread for the community. Hi, my name's Tara and I work with CAST here at Cultivating Community with the High Rise Baking Program. Um, in terms of food security, High Rise Community Bakery uh, focuses on access and participation, I suppose. Um, so we're all about providing real bread at affordable prices to the local community and it takes like a food with dignity approach. So we provide our breads at a sliding scale payment so people can pay what they can afford. In regards to participation, we basically have like an open door baking policy, I suppose. Um, so anyone can come in and learn about bread making. Um, they could make it home for themselves and they can also teach um, others here as well. Something that I think is really powerful about cultivating communities projects is that we're very location and place based. And I think that if every community can have a community food centre where people can come and they can bake together, they can borrow equipment from a kitchen library, they can sit down together for a community lunch, they know that that's a place that they can come to grow food in a community garden if they don't have a garden space at home. You know, these kind of localised responses in every community is, is I think what we would need uh, to solve lots of the issues that we have in our broader society. Well, this is Sticky, and uh, often the gardeners will come grab Sticky, and Sticky will go walk about. But I have to find her again, so I have to hide her. But she's very helpful um, because of her shape and form. So Sticky is a much uh, treasured part of the team. Because look, oh, thanks, Sticky. <laughs> Lots of our community food initiatives deal with this idea of food literacy. So it's looking at uh, how to grow food and how to prepare food. And it also is around increasing uh, people and the community's food security. And by that we mean that everybody has access to affordable and nutritious food. So I'm boiling our bagels before we bake them in a mixture of malt syrup, brown sugar and bicarb soda. And this helps to give them a nice chewy texture before they get baked and get a nice crispy crust in the wood fire oven. So they don't take very long. I'm gonna flip them and then I'm gonna drain them. So I can do some of that now. So Cultivating Community have been supporting a food swap in Fitzroy since about 2005. That food swap is, is going strong. We've got a solid group of people that come every month together to swap their garden produce and, and at, the, at the swap you might um, have, uh, there might be lemons and limes and I'm just thinking about what's happening at this time of the year and as valuable as you know all of the garden goodies that we take home from the swap is those relationships with each other that have been formed over those many years. I'm just moving things around because there's going to be hot pockets. So trying to figure out how quick it's cooking and kind of get the right temperature. 
Each week we have the Meet and Eat Community Lunch at the Fitzroy Community Food Centre and that's an opportunity for uh, anybody to come along and prepare a meal together. We usually create quite a feast with about three or four different elements where we then all sit down together and share in a meal. And one of the loveliest things about this program is when you know our many talented cooks in the community from lots of different cultures come in and share their recipes and it's then that we really kind of have that insight uh, into other people's cultures and people feel so proud and happy to be able to share their culture and then we all feel so lucky to receive that generosity and kindness and also enjoy that very very delicious food. <laughs>